your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Happy Tuesday. We are starting this day off with gray and gloomy conditions. Also a few spotty showers and storms in some areas across most of East Baton Rouge and the metro area. Mostly dry, but we're starting to see a few showers and storms bubble up just west of the parish and then around Opelousas. A few areas with heavy rain and lightning as well. That's all ahead of a cold front. That cold front actually extends through a good portion of the country. Eventually here in our area, it is going to stall. That's going to lead to some higher rain chances. But today, temperatures will be slightly below average. And then tomorrow, we are right back to the 90s. Areas in yellow under a slight risk for excessive rainfall. Areas in the green under a marginal risk for excessive rainfall. So we could see some heavy rain at times. That can lead to localized flooding and maybe even some ponding. Also, a flash flood warning is in place for uh, portions of West Louisiana. Notice Opelousas under that flash flood warning through 945 this morning. That's where we see that pocket of heavy rain and then areas in the starker green under a flash flood watch that expires this evening at 7 p.m. So throughout this time, there could be some heavy rain. Just make sure that you're staying weather aware. Otherwise, it is just gray and gloomy outside. Temperatures sit at 74. It feels more like 75. Winds out of the east northeast at around seven miles and the visibility now down to six miles here in Opelousas that visibility is at two miles. So in some areas we're seeing some low visibility. Keep this in mind as you drive and if we do see any pockets of heavy rain that could easily decrease the visibility around the area. Temperatures are currently in the 70s and the 80s, 73 in New Road, 74 in Kentwood, and then Gonzalez, one of the warm spots sitting at 82. Now, as we continue into the afternoon, not warming up much. We're only looking at highs in the mid 80s. Our average is in the low 90s for this time of year. Then as we head into the overnight hours, slightly above average with temperatures dropping into the low to mid 70s. So it's going to be another warm and muggy morning as you head out the door tomorrow. Notice on the future track that front continues to drive south and behind it we get a brief moment with some dry skies cloudy though and then as we head into the evening those storms return we're looking at the potential for some heavy rain and that could affect your commute so just make sure to stay weather aware and maybe add some time to your commute as we head to about midnight we start to see a little bit of clearing and then clouds return by tomorrow morning possibly dodging some showers and storms as well and then our rain chances start to pick up in the afternoon and then into the evening so once again Again, there's a chance for some heavy rain on your commute and over the next seven days rain chances will rise up and down but the main thing is that we have the daily chance at least for a few spotty showers also keeping our eyes on the Atlantic there is a wave with a 30 percent chance of formation over the next two and five days it's so well away from the US so not a threat to us now but we have a lot of time to monitor that system today it's going to be pretty cloudy with scattered storms throughout the day there also could be a few pockets of heavy rain with temperatures rising into the mid 80s and then as we continue on we rise back to the 90s over the middle of the week over the weekend we're looking at temperatures in the upper 80s with spotty showers and storms and then by monday temperatures around 87.